Hello everyone, my name is Bhavesh and I've been teaching machine learning and data science for close to two and a half years now. A lot of beginners kind of reach out to me asking how do they start in this field of data science and machine learning? What are the best practices that one should follow and which are the best books that one can follow in order to make a successful transition from a software engineer or a different kind of a role into a data science machine learning engineer role. So in this video, I'll walk you through two books that I referred heavily in order to make that successful transition. So I'll go over each book one after the other. So keep watching the video. For every field in data science that is business analytics, deep learning, data science, machine learning, one thing that is common across all of them is statistics. You cannot run away from this simple fact that you have to love what you're doing in terms of statistics. If you're not having a good mathematical or a statistic background, surviving in this field would be extremely difficult. And I'm pretty sure all of you would have encountered some amount of mathematics or statistics in your school or college days. But revising all of them again, keeping in mind that whatever statistics we learn, we have to implement that in our business context. So the first thing that I did in order to make that transition from a software engineering role to a data science role is brush up my statistic skills. So if you go online, you will find plenty of resources available online to learn statistics. You will have different books that are already shared. You will have different online courses which are really good. Which one should you pick and which one did I pick? So the book that I really enjoyed reading the most and the book that I've completed end to end is Business Statistics by Ken Black. So this book is a must have for any statistician working in the business field or for anyone facing the challenge of analyzing business data. I really appreciate the clear explanation of each formula and approach given in this book. It has very clear and detailed examples and exercises that are provided for each formula. The author helps to put into context and to understand how to use it in order to solve everyday business problems. It starts off by explaining descriptive statistics like mean, median, mode, which statistic is useful for which distribution. Then it takes a notch further by going into different distributions such as a Gaussian distribution, a binomial distribution, how is a binomial distribution approximated to a normal distribution. Then after the descriptive statistics part is done, it goes into inferential statistics. It will tell you what is a sample, what is a population. How can you make an inference from a sample that is compliant with the population? It will go through various tests such as t-test, ANOVA test, what is a z-score, what is a p-value. It also goes into the nitty gritties of probability theory. It talks about conditional probability, Bayes theorem. It then goes into regression analysis as well. So for people who are starting off with data science and machine learning, I would highly recommend this book that is Business Statistics by Ken Black. You might have seen the advancements that are happening in the field of machine learning. But trust me when I say this, if your basics in statistics are clear, grasping the advanced concepts become even more simpler. So my first book recommendation for all of you trying to transition into data science and machine learning is Business Statistics by Ken Black. Now that you've understood which book I referred for learning statistics for data science, it's now time to take that step forward and understand which books are good in terms of giving you a good idea of the mathematics behind machine learning algorithms. When someone says decision tree, you have to understand that decision tree is nothing else but an algorithm that makes splits in your data set and the splits are made based on different criteria such as Gini index or entropy. So how do you understand the mathematics behind every algorithm? which is that right book that you have to pick up in order to understand the algorithms from end to end. So here's my recommendation for all of you who are trying to learn the mathematics behind every machine learning algorithm. So the book is basically the elements of statistical learning, which is like the best book that you can get to understand the mathematics of every data science and machine learning algorithm. The book talks about what overfitting is, what underfitting is, what linear regression is, uh, what is the OLS method of linear regression, what are the different assumptions that are made in linear regression. It walks through every piece of an algorithm through mathematics and tries to explain you each and every concept. There are a lot of exercises that are also given behind every chapter which are in R 
but you can find a lot of github links where people have implemented the solutions of the exercises in python as well so if you're really keen in terms of going through the mathematics behind every machine learning algorithm then i would highly recommend you to go through the elements of statistical learning which is a really beautiful book in terms of covering the basic mathematics now think of it this way that uh, there is a big assumption of linear regression which is multi collinearity now why is multi collinearity bad for your data set uh, how is it gonna affect your overall weights what goes wrong if there is multi collinearity all of that is explained mathematically in this book so if you want to move from say regression problems to classification then you have chapters on logistic regression then it goes into support vector machines as well it talks about decision trees random forest bagging boosting now one thing that i would like to admit is when i was kind of researching on random forest today there are a lot of resources that explain random forest really well but it was this book that actually explained how random forest works under the hood so my only recommendation to you is if you really want to make that transition happen from your current job role to your data science or machine learning job role in your dream company then i would highly recommend you to understand the mathematics behind every algorithm because good companies generally tend to ask you the mathematics behind algorithms such as say decision trees or random forest or whichever algorithms that you have kind of stated in your resume there are situations that come up wherein you might have to implement algorithms from scratch it is here where your mathematical skills come into picture so these were the two books that i kind of highly recommend the reason being these are the two books that i have consumed end to end in order to understand first the statistics part of data science and then the algorithm parts and the mathematics behind the algorithm parts of data science and machine learning algorithms so yeah you can start off with the books that i've just mentioned on data science and machine learning along with statistics and also keep following my channel wherein i regularly post machine learning and data science videos so yeah i hope you found this video informative thank you so very much for watching before you end the video please consider clicking the subscribe button as it motivates me to make more such awesome videos and i'll keep sharing my learnings in form of videos as we go forward so so thank you again for watching the video